you didn't make me work late today, because I want to be home and celebrate with Ethan if he got the job. Hmm. No word from him yet, so there's no rush to run home. I'm going to stop by Sheridan's and see how those guys are doing. If Louise found out that uh, Sheridan and Chris are married, they're going to need all the comforts that they can get. And if not, they can just have this for breakfast in the morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Voicemail again? Ethan, why are you not picking up the phone? Honey, hi, it's me. I am gonna stop by Sheridan's for a little while and then I will see you at home. I love you, bye. Oh, I hope Ethan got a job today. It would kill Teresa to know that she could never force him to go back to work at Crane where she could seduce him all day, every day. God, it's just so dangerous for Ethan to be anywhere near Teresa. Gwen. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. hey, I was making my way around front, but I just saw that you guys were in here. So where is Sheridan? Oh, she's out in the living room. She was about to make this big announcement, and then Eve barged in and said they had to talk. Well, I'm sure she'll be back shortly. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you and Ethan? We are fine. Why did Teresa tell you that Ethan's planning on leaving me for her? Uh, no, she, she hadn't said anything to me about it. She's still coming between you guys? I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have absolutely had it with her, and I know she's your sister, and I know that you love her, but her obsession with Ethan has gone from ridiculous to just completely insane. <sighs> Luis, she tried to bribe Ethan to go back to her by offering him to be co-CEO of Crane Industries. When he declined and quit, she then threatened anyone who planned to hire him, thinking that that would make him want to go work for her at Crane. And then, to top it all off, she sent Chad over, trying to urge Ethan to leave me. Can you believe that? You've got to be kidding. Yeah, I wish. She is... She's crazy. She is pathological. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gwen. I... Teresa should know better than to try and come between someone's marriage. A marriage is sacred. And I'll tell you something, I would see red if someone tried to come between Sheridan and me. Which, of course, would be useless, considering, number one, we're soulmates, and now we're finally married. But I'll tell you something, if someone did not respect that, They'd be in for trouble. Big trouble. I think I'm gonna step off and get some fresh air. Does Chris seem preoccupied to you? You know, I really can't say. Huh. No, I think he knows what Sheridan is gonna tell me, but he's not talking. What about you? Do you know what Sheridan wants to tell me? Look, even if I do know what Sheridan wants to tell you, it would not be right for me to steal her thunder. So you do know? Just be patient. Wait for Sheridan. That's exactly what Chris said. Well, then it's unanimous. It's damn frustrating is what it is. You know what, do you mind if I check my messages? My new boss has a way of calling me about every single thing. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, well, thank goodness Collier is quiet, but I do have a message from Ethan. And he found a job. He found a job working at, at Jerry's Garage. That's a switch. Well, um... Not exactly, because Teresa is keeping him from working as a lawyer anywhere until his contract with Crane expires, and he has actually always liked tinkering with cars, so having a job at a garage kind of makes sense. But it is only temporary. But, you know what, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna stop by to see you and Sheridan later. I, I wanna go stop by the garage and see Ethan and congratulate him on finding work. Go right ahead. You just tell Ethan and keep his eye out for a... 66 Cadillac convertible for me, okay? I will. And don't worry about Sheridan, okay? Things always have a way of working out for the best. Well, as long as I'm with Sheridan, everything's gonna be perfect. Well, make sure you tell her I stopped by. I'll tell her. 
Okay, I will see you later. Who's keeping Sheridan? And Chris.